Welcome to Make a Starter Referee Training. Make a Starter is a competition for teenagers between 6 to 16 years old, in which Mbot acts as a core equipment. During the competitions, robots need to complete missions such as line patrol, obstacle recognitions by ultrasonic, color recognitions, moving props, etc. in automatic stage and manual stage. Part 1. Introduction Let's start with the whole mat. The top half of the mat is automatic mission area and the bottom half is manual mission area both in the size of 2370mm by 1150mm Automatic missions area is mirror symmetry for two teams with six automatic independent mission areas three automatic alliance mission areas. The starting areas are blue or red squares shown in the mat, two for each team and four in total. On the right side of the manual mission area, there's one blue team starting area and one red team starting area respectively. On the left side, two station A and one station B. Mission props area in the middle with eight circle garbage and 8 spherical garbage. Two teams will form an alliance in each single match. The number of contestants in each team is 1 or 2. Two referees will judge the match. One red referee in charge of promoting the progress of the competitions. Control the times of the stages and record the red team's score and violation. One blue referee in charge of recording blue's team score and violation. Also record two team score and violation in manual stage. Maximum time for each single match is 4 minutes, including two stages. Automatic stage lasts for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Manual stage lasts for 1 minute and 30 seconds. In automatic stage, robots score independent missions points by executing automatic programs and contestants can restart or modify the robot in their own area. Referees will stand beside contestants' area to judge scoring or violations. Contestants have 30 seconds at most to connect Blue's 2 controller and the robot before manual stage starts. In manual stage, operator manually controls robots to score points and observers stack the garbage moved into station to score extra points. Red team referees stand beside starting area Jot violation of operators and control competition time. Blue team referee stands beside garbage station. Jot violations of observers and score for garbage recycling. Part 2 Missions and Scoring Explanation Competitions include three types of missions. Automatic independent missions. Robots need to complete missions independently by executing automatic programs and score independent mission points for their own team. Automatic Alliance Mission Robots need to execute automatic programs and cooperate with their Alliance team to complete these missions and score the Alliance mission points for Alliance. Manual Alliance Mission The contestants need to manually control robots to complete missions and score Alliance mission points for Alliance. Missions and Scoring Introduction Mission 01 Energy Saving Switch In Ignition State, Block A will be within the white square and Block B will be in any positions between each two lines, determined randomly before each single match starts. The robots need to move Block A to the same area as Block B to get 60 points. Scoring State Details 1. Block A in the stationary state need to be completely in the same parallel area as Block B and stayed for at least 2 seconds. Partly in will not be scored. 2. Block A in the stationary state needs to contact the white guideline to score point. No contact with the white guideline will not be scored. The subsequent state does not affect the scoring. Mission 2 charging station. In initial state, the switch is perpendicular with line A. 
The robot needs to rotate the switch in a specified direction for more than 90 degrees to get 60 points. Scoring state details. First, the vertical projection of the switch passes line A. Second, the missions can be scored immediately as long as the switch implements above the state. The subsequent state of the switch does not affect the scoring. Mission 03, Aging Power Plant. In ignition state, power plant is placed on both sides of the map. The robots need to move the three generators to another direction. 20 points for each, 60 in total. Scoring state details. 1. As long as the bottom of the generator touches the white mantle part, it can be scored. The subsequent state of the switch does not affect the scoring. 2. If robots crush the prop and make it deformed, crushing the bottom of the generator cannot touch the white metal parts. It cannot be scored. 3. If robots stuck the prop, causing the bottom of the generator cannot touch the white metal parts, it cannot be scored. Mission 04. Chimney Dismantling. The initial state of the chimney is standing upright. The robots need to push down the chimney to get 60 points. Scoring state details 1. Once the top of the chimney touches any part of the table, the mission can be scored. 2. The mission can be scored immediately once the chimney implements above state. The subsequent state of the chimney does not affect the scoring. Mission 05. Road inspection The color cards will be determined randomly before each single match. Select two colors from green, red, blue without limitations of order. The robots need to complete color recognitions and correctly report the color information in a visual form by displaying specified letters or displaying lights with the same color. 20 points for completing the report of the first card. Another 30 points for continuously completing the report of the second. Full point is 50. Scoring state details 1. The order of recognition cards is unlimited 2. The robots should keep the stationary state and the report for at least 2 seconds 3. Robots must complete recognize, report, recognize, report continuously to get full points If it interrupts, points will be scored according to the real-time state Mission 06 Obstacle Removal in initial state, obstacle will be placed completely inside the circle. The robots need to move the obstacle out of the circle to score 50 points. Scoring state details 1. The vertical projections of the obstacle in the stationary state should be completely out of the initial circle. 2. The vertical projections of the obstacle in above the state should stay at least 2 seconds. In following situations, teams cannot score points. 1. The vertical projections of the obstacle in the stationary state is not completely out of the initial circle. 2. Robots lift up the obstacle and then obstacle rolls back to the circle. Teams cannot score points. Mission 07. Waste Sorting. In initial state, blocks marked 1, 2, 3 are played in three squares on mat. The robots need to move the construction waste to the corresponding red or blue treatment areas by recognizing the color cards, which are randomly determined before each single match starts. 20 points for each successful sorting of construction waste. Red and blue treatment areas include the areas beside these two lines, not including the starting area. Scoring state details 1. Blocks in the stationary state should be completely in the correct treatment area and state at least 2 seconds 2. Blocks must be processed into corresponding red or blue treatment area according to the color cards In following situations, teams cannot score points 1. Block in stationary state is partly in starting area 2. Robot fails to move construction waste to the right treatment area according to the corresponding color card order. Mission 08 Forest Planting In initial state, 
There are one blue sapling and one red sapling placed in two circles. For example, in the first stage, the red team's saplings need to be moved to transit area by red team's robot. So the aligned teams score 20 points. The blue team's robot continue to the next stage by moving red team's sapling from the transit area to the blue team's desert area. So the aligned teams score extra 10 points, similar to blue team's sapling. Scoring state details 1. The sapling's bottoms in the stationary state must be completely in or partially in the transit area or the desert area and keep the state at least 2 seconds, including the falling trees. 2. Robots that complete the missions in two stages should be correct. In following situation, teams can't score points. Trees fall down and only the shade of the trees enter the transit area or desert area. Mission 09 City Party Stage area of red and blue team are placed here on the mat. First, the robots must return to their own stage area. One robot starts to play music and the other robot starts to dance. The acts of both teams should last for at least 3 seconds simultaneously. Scoring state details 1. Chases of robots must enter into the starting area. Contestant apply for restart and place the robots into starting area directly will not score. 2. One robot must play music and the other must dance. Repeat its swing, rotation, or forward backward. 3. The action of two robots must last at least for 3 seconds simultaneously. Mission 10. Garbage Recycling In initial state, there are 8 circular garbage and 8 spherical garbage on the arena. Contestants should control the robots to move the spherical garbage to station B and move the circle garbage to station A. Observer can stack garbage moved into station by robots. To score extra 5 points for each garbage stack, all scoring states will be recognized when manual stage finishes. Scoring state details Only the garbage inside the correct station can be scored. Circular garbage in station A, spherical garbage in station B, and garbage stack in station A. Following states can cause violations of 20 points deduction. 1. The observer touched the garbage that is not completely in the garbage station. 2. The observer touched the props that have contact with the robot. 3. A garbage is moved completely in the wrong garbage station by the robot. 4. The observers are not inside a specified operation area. The observer can still take the penalized garbage props to get the garbage sorting points. Mission selection method. Missions for each competition will be determined 10 days before the competitions according to the following list. Props of the missions not chosen will not be placed on the arena. Competition system introduction. Competitions consist three stages. First stage is qualification round. Teams shall participate in four single matches in qualification round, during which alliance team will be allocated randomly. Single match points for each team will be independent missions, plus alliance mission points, minus violation points. Teams will be ranked according to total competition points for four single matches. Second stage is alliance selection. Advanced team selects the alliance in turn according to the ranking of qualification round. Third stage is championship round. Alliances shall participate in three single matches in championship round. The red and blue sides in the alliance are decided by themselves. Single match points of each alliance will be independent mission points for the red and the blue team, plus alliance mission points minus violation points for the red and the blue team. It will take the highest single match points from three single matches as the final result of the championship round. Alliances with the higher finals points in the championship round rank higher. Part 3. Rules and Penalty Highlights Start and Restart Requirements 1. Rules Introduction Start 
contestant can start the robot in their own starting area in every stage. Restart. During the match, the robot can be restarted at any time, without limits of times. Restart requirements. 1. Contestant who wants to restart robots should raise hand to the referee and announce blue team requires restart. 2. When hearing restart application, the referee has to confirm real-time state. Generally, one of the following three states will happen. A. Robot contacts with props and teams scores points partly or total. Points will be scored and the props become invalid. B. Robot contacts props and teams do not score points. Points will not be scored and the props become invalid. C. Robots does not contact with props. It will not get any violation. After confirming the state, referee should reply agree. Then contestant can take and restart the robot. 3. During restart, the competition will be timed normally. Please ask contestant to restart the robot within the starting area. 4. If the robot cannot be reached by contestants, they can ask referees for help to take it out. 3. Robot start violations. 1. If the robot is started outside the starting area, the team will get a warning for the first time. For the second time, the team will get a violations and 20 points will be deducted. 2. If contestant touch the robot without applying to restart, the team will get a violations and 20 points will be deducted. 4. Special case. If the props is inside the starting area, contestant can raise hand and apply. Referee can take it out of the arena after confirmation. Rules of contact with the robot introduction. 1. Conceptual overview. 1. Direct contact. Contestant directly contact robot or props. Forms include but not limited to skin, hair, clothing, accessories. Indirect contact. Contestant contacts the robot when the robot touches the props. It will be regarded as indirect contact. 2. Violation due to contact. 1. If contestant directly contact any prop, the props will be invalid. The team will get a violation and 20 points will be deducted. 2. Contestant directly contact robot without applications. The props that have contact with robot will become invalid. The team will get a violation and 20 points will be deducted. Props invalidity rules introduction. 1. Invalid prop. Invalid prop means the prop cannot be scored anymore, but it does not affect the points that the prop have scored before. 2. Invalid props case. 1. Props that contestant indirectly contact when contestant restart the robots. 2. Props that contestant indirectly contact when contestant make violated contact with robot. 3. Props that contestant directly contact. Special case. If red team's robots touch aligned team's props, but not causing to the scored state, the props can still be used if the red team's robot make a score. The prop will be invalid and both teams cannot score. Part 4. Refereeing Procedure Materials Preparation Following materials are needed for competitions. 1. Referee form, match schedule, desk tray. 2. Pens. 3. Timer. 4. Mission cards. Pre-competition preparation. 1. Check-in and confirmation. Contestants should arrive at the arena 5 minutes before the start of the single match. Referees check team number with match schedule and inspection sticker on the robot. 2. After confirmation, referees ask teams to two alliance captain and invite alliance captain to select mission card. 3. Lay out props according to the selected missions card and invite contestant to check the arena. 3. After confirmation, contestant place robots in the starting area. If there is no problem, contestant should raise hands and competitions can be started. Competitions process 1. 
After contestant get ready, red referee will count down five seconds, and the automatic stage starts. Two referees should verbally give judge information such as scoring points, violations, and pros invalidity. Three referees should remind contestant when thirty seconds is left. Count down five, four, three, two, one. When time comes to the end and requires all robots to stop. Four. After automatic stage, contestant have thirty seconds for connecting robots with the controller. Five. After all contestant get ready, manual stage will be started after five second countdown. During this stage, red referee is in charge of the operators and countdown process. Blue referee is in charge of observer. If red team gets violations, blue referee should remind to red referee. Referees need to count down five, four, three, two, one when time comes to the end, and require all robots to stop. Results confirmation. One, blue referees to confirm the manual missions point with both teams. Two. Both referees confirm team points of automatic stage, respectively. Three. After confirmation, referees calculate all the points on the paper refereeing form. If there is no disagreement, both referees and alliance teams must sign on the paper refereeing form. Refereeing form writing standards. One. Referees should write correct information of arena. Session and contestants. Two mission points should be recorded according to the mission completion. Mark X if there is no point for this mission. Three in violation area, record deduction points according to the contestants' violation times. Twenty points for each time. Four competition time will be only accurate to seconds. Five signature on referee form should be clear and normative. Six. Mark X if there is nothing for remark area. If contestants still don't accept the results after explanation, one, invite contestant to write down the questions on the remark area. Two, referees write down necessary explanation about questions. Three, submit this result to the head referee for final decision. Part five, behavior principles. One. Educational guide first. Warning or penalty second. When contestant shows strong emotion reaction and misbehaviors, referees should inform contestant what is wrong and what is right. Warning or violation comes if guidance fails. Before the match, referee can demonstrate the correct operation act for the contestants. During the match. Referees are not allowed to give any kinds of advice or tips. Two, respect facts, maintain neutrality, respect all the facts. Do not exaggerate subjectively or neglect certain details. Guarantee refereeing process in standard. Treat the same facts with the same refereeing rule throughout the whole process. Three. Familiar with all the rules, executes rules strictly. Referee must be familiar with rules and understand all the rules accurately. Before the competitions, if there is any questions about the rules, referee should communicate with the head referee in time. During the competitions, rules must be executed strictly, even when the personal disagreement about the rules exists. Four. Pay attention to communication skills. Pay attention to the emotional reactions of the contestants. Pacify contestants' emotions when they feel too nervous or overexcited. When talking with contestants, pay attention to communications manners and attitude. Try to be enthusiastic, initiative, and keep referee authority at the same time.